So that is what happens when you mix baking soda and vinegar. The reaction you can see happening is the baking soda releasing all of its carbon dioxide at once, neutralizing the vinegar and creating a milder acid called carbonic acid, which granted has some mild but very limited cleaning properties as you can see from me wiping around on the bowl here. The idea that you can remove hard water stains with baking soda and vinegar is false. However, as I'm about to show you, you just need the vinegar. Hi and welcome back to Cleaning How To and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to remove all of this nasty lime scale and hard water stains from this toilet. I have just moved into a new apartment and the people that lived here before us were kind of dirty. So today I'm going to show you how to remove all of this using just vinegar. But I'm going to throw in a few tips along the way to show you guys how to make this so much easier than just pouring vinegar in the toilet and walking away. So the first thing we're actually going to do is get as much of this water out of here as possible. So if you have either a plunger or a toilet brush, push it through into the back pipe work as much as possible. So you have two options really. You can suck it out with a wet vac, which I'm about to do in a second, or use something like these to scoop it out, give the cup then to a guest that comes to your home that you don't particularly like, and you can smile that you've given them a toilet juice cup. Yummy. Now that our water is out of the bowl, I'm gonna grab my vinegar, which uh, is a distilled malt vinegar. It doesn't really matter what type of vinegar it is, so long as it's white. You can get cleaning vinegar, which is slightly stronger than this. That just means it's gonna work a little bit quicker. We're gonna get our vinegar then. And we're gonna fill up to just about the line where the hard water stain stops. I'm gonna go a little bit more because I wanna show you guys how to clean these hard water stains from up in the rim. And you can just see some rust stains up at the back here. So to clean these stains from the rim and get the rust stains off too, I'm gonna to break off some tissue, toilet paper. I'm gonna dunk it in our vinegar and then I'm gonna just jam it up on the rim on the rust stains. Now I've done another video on this using brick acid or hydrochloric acid, which actually took about 15 minutes to work on the toilet and it was super quick. I'll link that video at the end of this one. But the vinegar is gonna take a couple of hours to work. So it's roughly noon and I'm gonna come back mid afternoon to check and I have a few other bits that I'm doing. So I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours and check. So it's about two and a half hours later and I've gone back to check on things and see how it's all progressing. The rust stain that was under the rim of the bowl is now completely gone and you can see really clearly how it's transferred out onto the toilet paper. Lesson learned from me here, I should have left it for a few hours longer but I was impatient and I wanted to see how it was working. To be fair it has removed about 90% of the hard water from the bowl but I needed to give it a little bit of a scrub. This took about two minutes and that left me with this tiny bit here. So I just repeated the process. So I just left the vinegar dwell for one more hour. That sorted out the remainder of it and we have a clean toilet bowl. If you would rather do this in 15 minutes than four hours, go ahead and watch the video that's popping up on the screen right about now. Hit the subscribe button while you're doing it. Carl here from Cleaning How To. How to clean a toilet with vinegar and not baking soda. 